Somerset move back to top as Notts fail with the bat again. Notts collapsed yet again this season as a position of strength at 200 for 2 turned into 241 all out and a first innings deficit of 85 as the Somerset spinners sparked the loss of 7 wickets for 40 runs in the evening session. Somerset will resume on day 3, 92 ahead with 9 wickets in hand after Ashwin removed night watchman Groneveld for a duck late on day 2. Abel and Ali made a circumspect start as they tried to build a platform, with both batsmen picking up early boundaries off wood. But the crucial breakthrough did arrive soon after, as Abel tried to pull away an Ashwin full toss, but smacked it straight into the body of Ben Slater at short leg. Ali and new man Hildreth hit a couple of boundaries, but one wicket brought two as Ashwin struck again to remove Hildreth. Banton was the next to go as Patterson White trapped him LBW to claim his maiden first class wicket. And Patterson White made it two in his next over, clean bowling Bartlett for a duck with one that wasn't there to cut. The championship leaders were suddenly in danger of collapsing themselves and Ashwin claimed his fourth when he pinned Davis LBW for two. Gregory took Somerset beyond 100 before lunch arrived after an excellent fight back from the Knot spinners, but with the lead already up to 193, the hosts may already feel that they've got enough on a turning Taunton wicket. Patterson White was back among the wickets early in the afternoon session when Gregory picked out the subfielder at mid-on. Before the debutant claimed his fourth victim a couple of overs later as the spinners kept picking up wickets with Bess not too disappointed to be pinned LBW given he will get to bowl on the same surface soon. Jamie Overton hit back by clubbing Patterson White for a maximum before Azar Ali moved to a crucial half century with a four off the same bowler. Overton had moved to 24 at almost a runner ball and had brought up a superb 50 run stand with Ali before he became Ashwin's fifth scalp as he edged the Indian behind. Before Patterson White completed his own fifer by having Leach caught at short leg to leave Ali 65 not out and not needing 255 to win. But with all 10 Somerset wickets having fallen to spin and Leach and Bess ready to bowl in tandem, that total seemed a long way off for the visitors. The scale of Nottinghamshire's task became immediately apparent as Leach got one to grip in the second over of the innings and Libby was trapped LBW for a duck. Before Leach struck again, this time to remove Slater thanks to a brilliant catch at the second attempt from Banton. Moores hit back with another boundary off Gregory before the tea break but with two batsmen already in the hutch and not still 224 behind, they would do well to survive the final session and take the match into a final day. Jamie Overton broke the run of 20 straight wickets, falling to spin in the first over after tea, as some pace and bounce saw him find Moore's edge, with Hildreth taking the catch at slip. Mullaney settled in in partnership with Ashwin to take knots beyond 50. But the knot skipper misjudged a ball from Bess with Hildreth taking an excellent catch at leg slip. Samit Patel had to drive down from Nottingham to replace Chris Nash for this innings but he scored only one before he edged Leach to slip with Hildreth again taking the catch. Ashwin clattered a couple of defiant fours off Leach as he attempted to hold the innings together for Knotts but he picked out Bartlett at mid on to fall for 41. Duckett responded by flaying Bess for his six before he picked out Gregory on the deep point boundary off Jamie Overton. Knotts were sliding for another heavy defeat as Luke Fletcher also went for the big shot and was caught by Groneveld at mid off. And in the next over Overton obliterated Patterson White stumps as his pace was just too much for the debutant. Wood and Ball briefly delay the inevitable with some boundaries before Overton clean bowled Ball to complete the win by 132 runs and move Somerset back to the top of the table as they claim 22 points while Knotts stay rooted to the bottom of the division as they take four 